Hello, guys, and thank you for tuning in to episode zero of our podcast for Sisters Who Makes Waves season three. Um, we're so excited to be um, reviewing this show with you guys and talking about it. <laughs> and uh, Anissa is going to be re- mainly kind of running this show today because I don't know a lot of the contestants except one. But we, we decided to just kind of like start off and talk about um, the theme song and who these women are and kind of spill our little tea. <laughs> yeah. So without further ado, Anissa. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm really looking forward to this podcast because I remember when I watched season one, there wasn't really a community of people to talk with about this show. And I'm sure there was on Weibo, but I don't use that app. So, like, it would be great if we as K-pop fans kind of joined this community, the C-pop entertainment world, and made our own little little discussion so yeah, sisters who make waves. So I've seen season one. Have you seen any of the seasons? I just kind of feel like I vicariously saw that through you and your rants on Twitter. Oh, how, how dare they vote her off? They should not vote her off. This is whatever. And I'm like, I'm like, mm, she mad. Okay. Yeah, season one was crazy. Honestly, I didn't watch season two because there wasn't any K-pop idols in it that I, there wasn't anyone in it that I cared about. But season one, they had um, Faye and Gia from Miss A. I thought her name was Ja for all this time. It might be. Because uh, my friends and I in high school was like, oh, yeah, and Ja. Like, <laughs> no, it might be Ja, actually, because I know that the meme, like Ja Fay, I think it's pronounced either like Gia Fast, probably like Ja, Ja, Ja Fay or something like that. But anyways. Wait, yeah. hold on. So Faye didn't get in, but Ja did. So this is what happened. And this is why the show, the program, the voting is like totally messed up. So by the end of the show, this is so much stuff that was annoying. I mean, this show was great. I'm just going to focus on the annoying bits. So first of all, Gia actually got voted off the show. And she came back, right? Yeah. So they had an um, a episode where they, all the eliminated contestants had a chance to rejoin. So mm-hmm. Gia's the one who won that. So she was able to rejoin the competition for the finale. And then by the end, the way that the finale worked is that there was two teams and you had to vote for your favorite, um, I think your favorite performer in every performance. And then whichever of the two teams had the most overall votes for performances, like for that individual person, then that team would gain like more members in the final group. So what happened is the final group had seven members, right? But there's two teams, probably like 14 women each. And one team not 14 women each, sorry. I meant seven women on each team, right? So one team got four slots to debut and the other team had three slots to debut. This is probably like slightly wrong. I'm just going based off of memory. That sounds really screwy. Yeah, so the, you whoever gets had- the top votes on one team and there's the other team wins, not the overall top vote. So what happened is that Fei Fei's team, I'm not, her name's not Fei <laughs> I so Faye's you. team had four slots or something like right, that. Right. And her team had a lot of popular members. So Faye actually got um, a lot of votes. She got more votes than a lot of so had, the other teams. Had they won the extra slot, she might have gotten in. Oh, so. yeah. If she won, <laughs> if they won the extra slot, she would have gotten in. Got it. But the other team got the got like basically the slots were equal. So then after that, it's like whoever got the most votes. So she didn't get in, but Gia got in. Well, it's a good thing is Faye didn't really 100 percent need this. Yeah, that's what I like about this show. None of them need it because they're all, well, let me not say, some of them have like dying careers. I mean, that's, I don't watch Chinese dramas or entertainment. So just based off of what I'm hearing through the grapevine, a few of them have dying careers. So, you know. Yeah. This can add a little juice to it. So here's something interesting that I think you would find interesting. What's that? One of the contestants who's going to be on this season won first place by a landslide on season one. She so won. why is she back? Yes, that's why I was wondering, why is she back and competing? Because I can't imagine Wan Young or Sakura or um, Somi or any of the first place people Well, you know the tea, on the, the tea on the street was that he told me was going to go on Chuang. Oh, that's kind of different, though. <laughs> no, it isn't. Because she was popular in like all of East Asia. So that is, it'll be like, oh, we need to vote for Hitomi. It, it, I don't know. I just feel like that's, it's not the same. Like, so many 
failed did to debut in twice. So when she got on Produce 101, it was like, yeah, people knew her, but she still hasn't like debuted. But I feel like, or it'd be different if like, if you won the, a show like that already and you're going back in, why do you need to do that again? But like, if you failed to debut or you debuted in a flop group like Che Young from Daya, who then was an IOI, it's a little different. But that's just me. That's how I feel. I, I don't know. I feel like this is just weird because it's the same exact show that she already got number yeah, one on. But you know, they probably asked her to come back. Oh, for sure. Because first of all, in season one, I think she was probably the highest paid contestant there because she's a really popular, I don't know if she's an actress or a singer or both, but her name is Ni- Ningjing. And she is also one of my top picks. So on one hand, I'm not complaining because I love her. In season one, she was the oldest contestant. I don't know if she's still the oldest. She should don't look it because the one that be sounding a little bit like Jessica looked like she's 50. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I like that. She was, she was looking like, like auntie. She was yeah. Looking, she was looking nice. Yeah. Nice and holy sanctified. Yeah. <laughs> so what's the, what's the other tea you wanted to drop? Oh, you the right main here? tea is there's a contestant. Her name is, um, I think it's like Gillian Chung or something like that. They have those really old school English names. I like those names. Though. No, it's really, I know, it feels but it's pretty elegant. You don't hear them here. It's like mm-hmm. Esther and and Opal yeah. and, and Trud- Judith and stuff. They have those those names. I feel like they heard it in an old movie and they're like, "That's it. That's the one." Anyway, go ahead. So you know, our homegirl Jessica is competing, right? Oh, they so- got beef. <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but you must know about this drama. Do you remember when Jessica was first dating Tyler and there was rumors that Jessica stole Tyler and Tyler was cheating on his then girlfriend with Jessica? But Tyler was dating Hugh Young at one point, so... He's well, that's best. a different topic. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying it doesn't surprise me because he seems like... Have you ever heard the term doorknob? No. Everyone gets a turn. Oh, it's it is no. It's Tyler and Jessica have been together for a minute, though. Are they still together? Unfortunately, but yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> that rumor that was happening when they said, "Oh, Tyler cheated on his girlfriend to," and then broke up with her for Jessica. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so oh, Gillian, that's her. Gillian is the one. So, do you think that they're going to talk about that? I don't think so. Probably. I think she, that, they'll, they'll probably have some hostility, but they won't go get into it. She's probably going to be like, oh, you know, I don't think she should be here. This is for Korean, you know, this is for Chinese actors and singers. Like, you know, she needs to go back to Korea or something, you know, you, and you know, oh, and you know, the show, that, that they this, don't really have drama like that. Oh, they need to bring Shai Bing in this joint. Real quick. They have <laughs> different types of drama then, because this is the thing. All of these women have careers, so they're going to have some control over their image on the show. They're not ah. coming in. Like, Girls Planet and Mnet, they recruit, like, desperate trainees who do anything for screen time. These women already have careers, or at least have somewhat careers. They're not so desperate to, you know, have those shy bang moments and stuff, you know? So they'll have stories, but not, like, stories that will lose them votes like Girls Planet did, you know? They should invite shy bang. I, I think that they'll have Jessica talking about Girls Generation, though, and crying about it because they had Bay and Gia doing that. But she's not going to be able to mention the the, the word. The Why title. not? It's it's China. It's not Uh-oh. Korea. Oh, okay. So I don't know. Uh, maybe they'll post a picture of them together. So they'll blur out everyone's face but her. <laughs> if, they, if they blur out their faces, it's because probably because they're Korean or maybe there's Korean right. writing, but not because it's Girls Generation. It's not like SM. I hope, I hope they blur out all eight of them except her i was part of a girl group <laughs> and we're like that's so shady that's true we we should get some shade i'll just quickly scroll through like the cast list and we can um i just have it on twitter so we're just going to do that and then we can just kind of uh Rapid talk fire. about it i guess yeah how many Rapid contestants fire. are there only 30 i was gonna say that's a lot but then i was like how is it a lot when we dealt with a whole show that had 99 99 <laughs> yeah Oh, you're you're sharing. Oh, look at her. Yeah. So here's the first one. Thanks oh, to they said this. her age is thirty plus. <laughs> yeah. So this is Crystal Zhang or Zhang Tian Ai. Sorry mm. if I say their names wrong. I but I do want to learn how to say their names properly. 
We'll, well, we'll hear it when they go when the show starts. Yeah. Um, she's really pretty. I yeah. don't know the styling that they do in China is really my style. Like they always have such bold red lips <laughs> and eyebrows and then long black hair. And I'm just like, this is great. Just how you like a woman. <laughs> mm-hmm. She's an actress. Okay. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. All so here's here. the next one. Uh, Momo Wu. Okay. She's a singer. Dang. Rip. She's close to our age. 92, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, oh, John wait. Cheong. Yeah, I like Rose her. Rose Cheong. She's, she's a 50, singer. She, does she got kids? Probably. She she probably has kids. She's 54. Good for her. She looks like she would walk in by the whole Hermes store. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And now we have her, which is Lu Leon. She's older than the other the uh the 92 liner but she looks younger than her She's yeah pretty. the styling she kind of reminds me of taeyeon like i was work. about to say that in her face yeah yeah yeah, yeah. taeyeon but like with the really harsh um nose uh, contour makeup <laughs> <laughs> next one Ooh, is xiao meng she's i'm not feeling her hair she's Man a rock it. star it's giving me an oh ex- she's a rock star is that what oh, she I does? just said that. Oh, wait, no, she oh, actually is. It says good. that she's in a band. That makes sense. That's why her styling is like that. Okay. Okay. Well, that's, oh, that's her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and here is uh, Charlene Choi. She's 39, but she looks 25. Mm-hmm. She looks like she's the queen of the yoga, the queen of the. Pilates. Pilates, yeah. She, she has a nice, she has a nice figure. Yeah, yep. Nice. And now we have Tang Shi, classical dancer. Mm. She's great. Mm. I think she was um, I don't know if you remember the theme song. Uh Jessica and, and two girls did a Oh, dance that was break. a dance. She was what part of that? I think she was the one with the ponytail and the Yeah, dance she ate break. her up because she Jessica did. Had- I was like, wait, why wasn't she? I mean, we know why she wasn't center, but I was like, she should have been center for that. Because I was like, she had the ponytail, just had on a little beret. I said, that's not the, the right hat to be wearing for that yeah. type of hair flip. Yeah. <laughs> and now we have this actress, Xiao uh Ying Zi. Like her lips. And, um, I don't know. It looks whoever painted her, they said we're gonna add this amount of gloss. She looks really young. Yeah, they did her nice, they created her well. Yeah, she's pretty. I love her. you know how I feel about big ears. She's so pretty. <laughs> yeah. So pretty. Um Mao Junji Jie. Okay. She was giving me Tammy Wu from Girls Planet a little bit. Yeah, she is. I can see that. I can see that. I like how we're like, we have to relate everyone to someone or else we're not going to remember them. We're not going to remember them. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, as time goes on, we'll learn their names. Um, Huang Xiaolei, an actress. I hope she has some Esther from uh, the Nine talent because... She looks like Sully. Yeah, like an older one. Yeah, an older one. But she's the actress. The actresses actually in season one, they they needed a lot of help from like people who are used to performing, but their stages were still great. In my opinion, some of the actresses gave this um, best stages. Like one actress, I think her name is Wan Wan Qian or something like that. Um, her stages were always good. Well, they kind of just go for it, you know. Yeah, and now a singer Aya or Lu Hanya. Okay. She's she looks so young, baby face. She, she looks like a mom. She's giving she me mom. Like mom. She looks like a mom. She looks mm-hmm. like you know she from her child's no more than three. She, oh. looks like, she looks like a mom. She doesn't look like a bad mom, but she just looks like you know I'm here to pick Teddy up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we have a singer, Zhu Ruyun or Valen Su. She's trying to give something with the off the shoulder moment. That outfit is giving like sporty, but it's like a loose top and a skirt. But the she, zipper and the styling is giving me sporty. I'm like confused. What look are you going for? It's kind of giving like, I don't know why I'm having the store in my head of like 
you know, she went for a run. She came back. She her she she's just walked to her husband in the house. She's kind of disheveled. She's like, "Have you put on the eggs and bacon yet?" You know, type of thing. <laughs> it's giving me something so specific. Very specific. My my fan fiction. She looks cool. Now Kelly, you or you when when? She's pretty. Yeah, she's real pretty. You know who she thought- reminds me of? The tax evasion boyfriend stealing illegal activity criminal member in Cosmic Girls. It keeps getting worse. <laughs> so patient. Tax evasion. <laughs> <laughs> now, an actress, Amber Kuo or Guo Kaiji. That outfit looks so nice for the wintertime. Mm-hmm. It's, giving, it's giving me, I'm just going to run to Costco and get a few things. Yeah. <laughs> like two different styles of a home relaxation outfit like on yeah. the top side it's a nice soft one and mm-hmm. on the bottom end you have the silky one mm-hmm. you want something i'm gonna just go cr- 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 it, either way i'm at home and i'm five and yeah <laughs> she, said, she said either i'm gonna do instacart or we're, or we're gonna do reads we gotta get some groceries yep um a she's dancer zhu so jing Oh, she's real skinny. Yeah, she I wonder if she's tall or is that just the posing in the camera? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. She's real skinny. Ain't much else to say, huh? <laughs> um, an actress, Wang Ji Xuan. Okay, girl. I mean, she looks like she's gonna serve. Yeah, something. Serve something. Yeah, I mean, I like her hair. Yeah, the thick, wavy look, great. Okay, an athlete, Zhu Meng Tao. Oh, skiing aerial champion of Winter Olympics. Interesting. None of that says singer. What was that? None of that says singer. No singing, no dancing. But I mean, I'm sure she could dance, though. Yeah, I, mean, I guess. I mean, athletes have to have some sense of coordination. Yeah, exactly. So she'll be fine. Um, an actress, Wu Jingyan. Uh, Bob. Yeah, she she's giving me the same vibes as one of my favorites from season one, who actually got into the group. Nice. Um, actress Zhang Li. Pretty. She's pretty. Yeah. I mean, they're all pretty. I'm gonna just yeah. keep saying that. <laughs> Dancer, which is Chi Ji. Chi Ji. Oh, sorry. Mm-mm, I'm gonna relax into mine. Um see me old Hollywood with that outfit. That's all I can. Yeah, I mean because of the the shawl, the shoulder. Yeah. Singer Tan Weiwei, Sitar Tan. She looks like she can sing. Yeah, she looks like she can belt. Yeah, that's it's you know you just look at someone and like oh you can sing. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Yeah. I'm glad you understand where I'm coming from. Ooh, the third. Miss Actress. Hong Kong, Miao Li oh. Wu or Hu Jing Er. Okay. Actress. She'll probably be good to like emote her emotions. We'll see if she can sing. I wonder what kind of music they're going to give these women. Is there women? Um, in season one, they gave them a mix of things, just like Girls Planet. There was ballads and then there was hype music and there was like slow songs, you know, like um, traditional songs and like the hard-hitting songs. It was a good mix. It was entertaining. I think so far my favorite is the 54-year-old. Oh. She's now cheap. we have the singer, Gillian. Mm-hmm. Oh, here's Gillian. <laughs> Zhang Xingtong. So wait, she's 40-something? 41. She looks good. And Jessica, uh, so Jessica stole her man? Apparently, Jessica stole her man. Oh, she stole a 40-year-old man? Mm-hmm. And she no shame. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... <laughs> She wasn't 40 when, she, you know, she was 31 when he was stolen. But she yeah. said, I'm going to take this old woman's... No, me stop. <laughs> I, I love how music trending Garam. <laughs> <laughs> Goodness. Um, okay, another singer. Fiona Sit or Shui Kai Chi. She's giving novice, we love you. It is. <laughs> Just cut her hair a little short. Mm-hmm. Oh, wait, you mean the dance? 
No, you oh. you meant exactly where you were headed. That oh. is, she looks like her. Oh, she's novice now. That's gonna make me like her. I'll remember her. What's her name? Fiona. It's giving me some Espas energy for some reason. Mm-hmm. Like one of the girls, like they they look similar. Actress Huang Yi. She's pretty. I like her visuals. Her suit gives me Madonna blonde ambitions. Nice. That's I'm going like to remember her face. I like her type of visuals. She kind of, nah, nah. They just have a similar nose. Mm. As Shen Wei. Mm, yeah. Now an actress, Zhang Jinyi. Mm-hmm. She has a look. Yeah, she does have a look. She looks mixed. Mm-hmm. A-, a couple of them look kind of mixed to me, but I don't know if that's a styling or what. Oh, here she is. Number one, Ning Jing, actress. She was ranked one first season. That was about from hard work. Now it's her. She's her race slay era. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. I'm excited to see her. In the first season, she didn't really want to dance, but she mm. had to dance eventually. So it was cool. Her, her race slay era. I love her. Yep. <laughs> so Na Ying, singer. Oh, she was the center of the last yeah. season. You see, interesting. Looks, so they have the two centers mm-hmm. competing. So here's my thing. She looks nice. She's 54, but I like the other 54 year old woman that's giving me giving me grandma's. The one that we saw earlier. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> so I that's your she, 50. This is my 50 year old sleigh. <laughs> she's not the oldest anymore. Oh my gosh. So your Wait, that woman's 50? Different. Yeah, she's 50. And she won. She looks good. She looks yeah. like Jennifer Lopez. Yeah, she looks real good. This one's 54, so we got two. That other woman looks like Jennifer Lopez. She looks like she's going to be singing. Ain't it funny? And now we have Cindy Wang or Wang Jin. dress is ugly. Singer. Well, that's a terrible dress. <laughs> it's just ugly. That is terrible. She's beautiful, but the dress is ugly. Wow. They set her up. Yeah, no, that's a no. Sorry. Jessica Singer. Jessica Jones. She's looking good. I like her. She, yeah. she, she ain't missing out with a day in the gym. Either that or she ain't had a bite to eat in a month. Oh, and I hope it's the gym <laughs> one. <laughs> yeah. She, she looked good. She said, I'm going to have my hair color from the boys. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the same side part she always has in the same uh-huh. spot. Good for her, though. I wonder, um, I, gonna get the, I, think, I wonder if we're going to get the. I wonder if we're going to get the real her. We'll see. But yeah, Damn. so that's all of the contestants. So your favorite is the first fifty-one-year-old. Yeah, she looked. She was. She looked like she'd have a little tremble in her voice. She I think the like, one with the half up, half down style. I'll keep her in mind. She and she kind of sound like a Jessica sound like. So I like that. Oh, that's the same one. Yeah, that's Jessica the same song one. Because <laughs> I wasn't looking at it, and I was like, "Oh, Jessica sung," and I said, like, "Wait, that woman sung." They don't have the same voice, but they have a similar like sound. Yeah. So I want to hope they get in the same group so they can harmonize and oh, yeah. have that energy because you know voices blend together. Mm-hmm. But anyway, that's exciting. I'm excited to see more C pop because I try to kind of steer clear of it a little bit just because like if I like it. I can't like go on the QQ or all those those like I can't support it properly. So yeah. Anyway, final thoughts. I mean, I'm just excited. I like the theme song. I was sad that there wasn't a full dance, but I realized it's not not everything's gonna be produced. They, I think they gave I'm us glad. little dance breaks, so I'm glad with what they did give us. Those women are, are not interested in dancing on their first go round. It's it put me in an evening gown and give me a mic. That is enough. Yeah, they'll be <laughs> dancing though. I mean, it's like season one. There's a lot of actresses, so it seems like they don't want to dance. But when it comes down to it, and they have to pick, yeah, uh, they'll the pick the ones that can, you know, actually carry. Yeah. All right, I think we covered it, but we're excited. Hopefully, it didn't seem too low energy. I'm just like, yep, they're <laughs> gonna be singing. 
I mean, we'll have things to say when the performance is come. Oh, definitely, definitely. Mm-hmm. It's going to be interesting with older women doing this survival show. It'll be a different vibe. Mm-hmm. But I hope special guest Shai Bing is there so she can be like... <laughs> That reminds me, I forgot to tell you that Ningjing, the one who won first place in the mm-hmm. season I watched, mm-hmm. she was the mentor. Remember that old lady mentor that they had on um, Chuang, the boy season? The ba, 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 ba. Oh, you know? yeah, she's that. She's that. Yeah, she was. She was. What, remember the mentor with the short hair? And you were like, was she the one with the blonde hair and the and the blue garage door shadow eyeshadow? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I I cut her up. I was like, nah. She said, I'm gonna be noticed. If it's one thing about me, I'm gonna have my blonde hair, my blue eyeshadow. Yes, and you know what? She ate. To me, she ate. <laughs> you liked her look. I don't know. Sometimes I'll be questioning. I'm like, I'm like, Nisa, you look put together, but it's the people you like. I don't know what I don't know what you like about them, but I girl. <laughs> Every time she's on screen, I cut that lady up. I said, get her out of here. She And then she had a cowboy hat. It was just too many ideas. And she ate. <laughs> well, clearly, what is she the first member, the, the number one ranking? Right? Number one by landslide. She yeah, got she- like 1,000, no, sorry, 1,200,000 more points than rank two. Jeez, Elise. Okay. Well, all right, Miss Honey. All right, girl, with your blue, blue eyeshadow and blonde hair and your contacts. Sheesh. All right. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in to episode zero. Um, we'll be reviewing this show uh, after Queendom. Um, so we have a little bit, a bit of a break. <laughs> but hopefully you guys will be able to tune in and enjoy this content as we try and make more uh, podcasts and more content for you guys to listen to. But until next time, thank you guys so much for tuning in and we'll be back next. Uh, well, no, we'll be back Sunday with uh, the following Queendom episode. So until then, stay safe, guys. Thank you.